This is the USMC Combat Knife by Topps Knives, and it is designed by Lassie Zabo, who has an extensive background in military and law enforcement. It's a pretty cool dude. I actually got a chance to have a phone interview with him uh, about the design of this knife specifically, but because my phone is not that great, he could hardly hear me, I could hardly hear him on the speakerphone, so it didn't get recorded. So anything I say uh, on his behalf is going to be paraphrasing, unfortunately. Um, but uh, this is the knife. When most people think USMC combat knife, they immediately think of K-Bar. And that's probably because since 1942, at the, at the beginning of World War II, the uh, K-Bar company got the contract to supply all the troops with combat knives. So this is it. Um, this is the five and a quarter inch version, the shorter variation of the K-Bar, but it's pretty much the exact same thing. Um, and this video is really not to downplay K-Bar at all because I actually love their knives. I think they're pretty cool. They're awesomely priced, but that's part of the reason why the military chose them is because, you know, it's a great knife, uh, not the best knife, but it has a great price point. Um, so that's how they choose a lot of their things. Um, this knife is not a copycat of the K-Bar. The only thing reminiscent of the K-Bar in this knife is the rings and the handle. Everything else is designed from the ground up. And when the C uh, designs a knife, the first thing he looks at and designs is the handle. Because the handle is the most important part of the knife because you could put a shitty handle on a good blade and it'll still turn out to be a shitty knife but you could put a good handle on a spoon as he as he put it and he could still probably kick some ass so um, so he designs the handle first which I think is a really important part because the handle is gonna be pretty much the only thing connecting you and the knife and as an operator you're gonna need to have complete control over the blade um, so let's start from the handle. Um, from the butt of the handle, we have something that a lot of top knives has, and that is a pry bar slash glass breaker. And that is something that the standard K bar does not have, unfortunately. But, um, you know, you can break glass, you can hammer stuff in with it, um, anything that you probably want, wouldn't want to use the tip for. Although you could probably use a tip, and, you know, since it's stout enough, you probably won't do any damage to it. But, I mean, you got a nice glass breaker pry bar right there. Also has a lanyard hole, which the K-Bar doesn't have. Moving up, you have the actual handle. So it's full tank construction, which means it's full thickness of metal throughout the entire handle, unlike the K-Bar, which uh, has a stick tang. And because of that, uh, there's a thinning of the metal right at the handguard. And what a lot of people would experience is that their knives would break right there. And that's a really unfortunate thing to have happen, especially if you're away from supply or you're camping in the middle of the woods and something goes wrong. Um, so to have your, your knife break at the handle would pretty much render it useless. So uh, the USMC Combat Knife uh, pretty much took care of that right out the bat by using full tank construction. Uh, so the shape of the handle is really cool because it's not completely round, so there's no chance of the knife rolling in your hand at all while you're using it so you can always keep the edge facing towards the enemy or whatever you're, you're cutting. Um, so that's also a really good thing. Something that the caber does not have because it's fully round. The way I wrapped this knife however though it does have a little bit of a bevel so if you guys want to I can show you guys how to do that as well if you have a k-bar and want to improve the feel and the use of your knife. Um, and Something that I like a lot on this handle as well is that it has a pivot point on both sides. And the main reason for that is so in a knife situation, knife fighting situation, you can easily reverse your grip. And also in a survival situation, it can also be used as a handpiece for a fire drill. So that's a really cool part of it. Um, you don't have to build an extra piece because you already have one on you at all times. The handle material is also pretty cool. It is linen micarta, which is probably one of my favorite knife handle materials because it is impact resistant, heat resistant, chemical resistant, and also has really good wet gripping capabilities. Um, this one, especially with the rings uh, milled into it, it's uh, super grippy and super solid, even more wet, oily, or bloody um, if the time ever comes. So moving forward from the handle, you got the handguard. 
And this is an, also another really big feature that I liked that solved a big issue that I had with the K-Bar. And that is this stamped piece handguard, which is not part of the blade. Um, I tended to bend mine a lot and you know whenever I hit it with the baton if I ever threw it for some reason the uh, this piece would always bend towards the handle or towards the blade and luckily it's soft metal so you could always bend it back with a wrench or something like that but once you bend it once it's hard to get it back to the way it was so that was a big problem I had with it um, this being all part of the blade it's a quarter inch thick and there's no way you're gonna break this and if you do break it you probably have other things to worry about um, the handguards also grooved so you can choke up on the blade if you would like to or um, you can reverse your grip and that also keeps your fingers in place so there's no chance of your hand slipping into the blade and so moving it from the handguard you got this sweet bayonet buoy style blade the buoy style blade has been designed and refined for almost 200 years, so pretty much you can't go wrong with it. Um, the center of gravity is pretty much right at the uh, handguard, and it's also pretty much straight center line down the knife as well. So moving from the knife, you have the sheath. Um, this sheath is pretty much the same sheath that, they use, uh, that Topps uses throughout a variety of knives that they have. So it's a pretty universal fit for this length of blade. Um, that being said, since it's not a custom sheath, there are some limitations to it. Uh, one, it can only be used one way, and that's that way. Um, so for left-handed users, you might be out of luck. It's because if you flip it over, you can't go quite all the way in. So that's uh, one of the problems I have with the sheath. And also, because it has to accommodate different handles, it does not have snap closures that are custom fit to the knife itself. So the sheath is also molly compatible on the side. As you can see, since it's such a long blade and a long sheath, you have uh, a lot of webbing that you can mount with it. And standard molly, so it fit onto any backpack, any vest, any onto any pouches that may be big enough to accommodate this, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So that is the overview of the USMC combat knife and stay tuned for a test video and I'll probably link that somewhere around here.